Hello everybody, Fuzzfinger here, and welcome back once again to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. So, we continue on uh, finishing up the Shinra building story. And I'll just go and introduce myself to these folks here who are working too hard at their computers and they don't want to talk to me. That's fine, I don't want to talk to them either. Anyway, uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings on where we're going. We recently, I remember, took the enemy skill material, which is nice. Along with some other good stuff. The hard edge for Cloud, if you remember. And I've got a feeling we don't need to be on this floor, actually. But hey, it's going to be a good opportunity to use some limit breaks. No, we don't want to change. Oh man, it's so sensitive, it's frustrating. Come on, Cloud, blade beam your power away. Pyow! Remember those soldiers there, you can steal the hard edge from if you didn't manage to do that in the last episode. Or if you missed the last episode, then you will probably not know about that and want to do it. It's a good weapon for Cloud, it's a good upgrade to the Buster Sword, and definitely something I would recommend. And wow, Barrett needs a heal. Let's get through this, and we get the second Mind Blow. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Mind Blow, to be honest. It doesn't actually do any damage, it basically just depletes the enemy's magic points. So it's a very situational limit break. Grab these potions which we seem to have missed. And we don't actually need to be up here. So we'll kill these. Where we actually need to be is the 66th floor, so we need to be going down and not up. I was going to say I might give Barrett the all material that Cloud's using since Cloud's got a shiny new weapon but he's still doing quite a bit of damage so maybe we won't do that. Actually on second thoughts I think we will. Uh, so if we go into materia, de-equip the all and fire, then go into Barrett, give him the all and the fire. And we can give Cloud the steel material and dice. Right then, let's go back down the stairs. Hopefully with no more enemy encounters, although to be honest we could probably do with the experience. So all the way down to floor 66. And then we want to get onto the elevator. And then the story can nicely progress. So, oh dear, our party has now been captured by the Shinra, which is never a good thing to be captured by some evil corporation. Again, we see the Fat Shinra president, who is accompanied by some pretty awesome retro music. And we're getting even more info about the Promised Land and about the Ancients and Red though seems, seems to know something about it. Oh. 
Yeah, come on, Ballot. Don't worry, I promise you we will escape. Wouldn't be very, wouldn't be a very long game if we didn't really, so. Shut up, you and smoke your cigar. Okay, so we're now back on the 67th floor. If you approach the door here, you can speak to the other characters. <laughs> when you finish talking to them, you can just take a nap on the bed. With Tifa, of course. Are they finished? I think so. Anyway, we need to talk to the others. You can't actually take your nap, I don't think, until you've spoken to them all. She's fine. She knew we'd come and save her. Oh ho! <laughs> oh, this is so cheesy. Like I said before, if they did remake this game, uh, as seems to be so often the discussion nowadays, they would definitely have to alter some of the dialogue because while it works just fine in text format, I think it would just be terrible if it was all voice acted. It just would not work. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, now we can get some sleep. You can speak to Red 13 if you want to, but I don't think it makes a blind difference whether you do or don't. Once you spoke to Ares, you can take your nap. And it's wakey time, and look, the door's open. How convenient. Right then, first thing you need to do is approach the guard that's down over here. At least I thought you did. Maybe we need to do something first. Ah, we need to speak to Tifa first, that's why. And now I think we can approach the downed guard. There we go. Come on, Cloud. Thank you. Let's go and free Barrett.
Okay, so something very strange is going on. It looks like the Shinra has been infiltrated by who or what, we do not know. Yes, indeed. Hmm, interesting. What in the world are these things? Ah, Tifa's got no uh, material, neither's Cloud. That's not good. That's not good. Especially since I don't you know how to escape from battle on the Xbox 360 control pad. All we've pretty much got to use is Cloud's new weapon and some materia he's got. Ah, oh, they're not too hard to kill anyway. <coughs> wow, I can't uh, like enemies that take 10 minutes to cast their attacks, that's just boring. Yeah, nice and, nice and easy. Wow, Ares needs to level up a bit, she's got some low hit points there. Level 12, hmm, that's not good. Anyway, what's going on here? Bit of blood on the floor, that's not what you need. Let's save our game. Probably the best idea right now. And we want to head up. Basically, you just want to follow this blood trail. Which goes all the way up to the next floor. All the mystery, the suspense, the tension. Again, keep following the blood trail. Right up, back to the President's office. He seems to be taking a nap with something sticking out his back. <laughs> okay, so Fat President is dead. Hurts Palmer. Oh, I hate Palmer so much. He's so annoying. He's such a weasel. He really is. Yeah, we'll catch up with Palmer later. Anyway, for now, Cloud is on his own. And we need to go out and meet the Vice President Rufus. Well, he's not actually on his own, but he will be in a minute. So basically, Rufus's dad, the fat president, was a bit of a knob, but Rufus is pretty awesome to be fair.
got the hairstyle that Cloud probably should have had to be fair. A little cool, but not as over the top as what we've got with our hero. Okay, so now Cloud's on his own. <laughs> Tifa kindly blocks the save point, which isn't very nice. Right then, so we're going to remove Cloud and Tifa's materia. And we're going to redistribute it amongst our new party. So for Ares, we're going to give her the Cure Materia, which is always useful. And we'll give her Lightning as well. Let's get the Materia nicely organised. Uh, right, Red 13. We'll give him Fire. Barrett's got a pretty good weapon, but we'll give him fire also. In fact, let's go back on to Ares and... Hmm, 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 hmm. I wanted to try and give Ares lightning all. In fact, I will do that. And we're going to give Barrett fire all. So they've all got a all materia. Given the steel, we can carry on learning uh, material up to a mug then. We can't go and save at this point, so don't even bother trying. Our job now is to get to the elevators. At least I think that's our job. Yep. Yeah. Although you might have random encounters on the way. No, don't change! Oh, that's so annoying. I much prefer playing with a control pad but than the keyboard, but it really is so much more sensitive. And I really would like to know what the heck these things are. Quite frankly, I haven't got a clue. Wow, fire sucks a bit actually, doesn't it? Uh, I think we need to change at least one fire for the ice interior. And wow, it is to sleep for a long time, that's annoying. Oh, we've got a limit break. to finish these off, then we're going to need to heal up after this, to be honest. Ah, oh, let's just finish it off with a big shot. Goes towards learning Barrett's second limit anyway, if we can kill him, which we can. His second level limit rather, not his uh, second limit of level one. You know what I mean. At least there is leveled up, but he needed that to be fair. And darn it. She's already moving on the elevator, which means we don't get to heal. Yes, we do. I did say I just want to swap one fire for ice. Then we'll do it on Barrett's. And now, basically, we have a boss fight. And this is why we wanted to give everybody materia. Since if you've got melee, you can't actually attack at all. And ideally, lightning here works best. 
and I probably would have been better off using Cure All rather than uh, all the magic sources. There's only one boss. Well, one boss at a time. We do actually encounter another boss after this. Although Barrett, you might just want to use his gun since it's a rage attack. You can use it. There's no problems there whatsoever. And from now on, I think I will do after this ice attack. This boss has 1600 hit points. And by the way, limit breaks are all classed as ranged attacks, so even Red 13 can use his limit break if it comes up. There are some nasty abilities from this boss, but fortunately that means that your limit breaks do build up quite quickly as well. Let's cast Healing Wind from Ares. Get one's health back up nicely. Quite a good spell actually, quite a good heal spell. Main artillery. That's the AoE effect. I will say that as soon as this boss dies, you'll have another boss immediately after. So don't feel like you have to uh, utilise all your limits that build up as soon as they do. I will use Barrett's now though, since I don't think we've quite got 1600 health off this thing yet. Oh no, we have, look. Or well, maybe not. Is it dead? No, nope. it's just sort of dying. And just carry on whacking away, is it, basically? Like I said, I can really do with a cure all spell now. I probably should have changed that. But if the boss isn't doing anything, I'm going to carry on chugging its HP down. Yeah, you keep changing your sensor cannon, that's all you're going to do. Come on, Ares, finish him off. There we go. And you will not have any time to heal. We're back in business. This is the Heli Gunner. And it's only got 1000 hit points, so a little bit less than the previous boss. But its attacks are also more damaging, and it does some status effects also. So definitely some stuff to be aware of. Hopefully he will build Ares' limit break up, since we don't have Cure All. We can really do that Healing Wind. Bolt, of course, does double damage, since these are mechanical enemies. So if you've got more than one Lightning Material, you'll definitely want to equip them across your separate characters. And he seems to have a thing for Barrett here, doesn't he? Oh, I had to get his target thing, there we go. Go away, thank you. Uh, I didn't really want to cast Cure, since that would be a waste of attack. I was hoping for Ares' limit to build on. But it's getting mighty close here with Barrett's health. Although you never know, we might actually get to kill him first. Oh, so we've got some AoE thing coming up. Although I could be mistaken. Let's see what he does. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. That was just in time, to be honest. Just in time. Ooh. It didn't heal Ares to fall, but she was on low health anyway, so I didn't really expect it to. And there's no point using Cure now. The boss is dead. experience, not bad at all, and a Mithril arm it. Okay, so now we're back with Cloud, and we need to equip Cloud and make sure he's ready for the battle against the one and only Rufus. Hmm, 
remove material from other parts of them to switch. I would love to if I knew what switch was. Before I hit the switch button, or whatever supposedly is the switch button, I am just going to equip him with some other stuff. Just in case I hit the wrong button. Hmm, maybe that did it. Yes, it did. Lovely, lovely. We want to restore, that's for sure. And I don't think we need anything else. Uh, in fact, we'll get rid of poison. To be fair, this boss isn't actually immune to anything special. Or takes double damage from anything special, so I don't think any material really matter. As in, compared to other materia, not as in no materia, you know what I mean. And we get the wonderful, fancy boss music. And Rufus has a pet, a pet called Dark Nation, who does a nasty lightning attack and cast a barrier, a magic barrier on Rufus. So the first order of business is to get rid of him. Unfortunately, he doesn't have that much health. Again, it doesn't matter what magic you use. I only use magic because it casts barrier, but now it's cast, it cast magic barrier as well. There we go. Like I said, we should be quick to dispatch of. And then you can start working on Rufus, who I think has about 500 hit points. And his barrier won't last forever either, so... He does have some nasty attacks up his arsenal. We definitely want to make sure that Cloud's got the restore material, or at least some potions. And with that said, we will cast it now. Did he cast magic barrier on Rufus the Dark? I'm not sure if he did, you know. In fact, I might throw a magic spell or two on him, just while we wait for the barrier to wear off. Just in case I'm speaking nonsense to you guys, barrier basically halves all physical damage and magic barrier halves all magical damage. And fire seems to do the trick nicely. Hopefully this will finish him off. I'm tempted to wait for uh, the Limit Break, there it is. I would like to get the second Limit Break of level 2. So I think it's called Clean... Oh, what happened to Quest? Sure. I do like having the cursor set to memory, but you have to pay attention sometimes. I think it's Clean Hazard. It's the second one for this level, I would like it. Yeah, goodbye Rufus. Ooh, nearly leveled. You get a protect best than the guard source. The sources are quite useful, although there's not many of them in the game. Uh, when you use it, it permanently increases a specific, specific stat on the party member you choose to use it on. Yes, yeah, so now we can head back to Tifa, who is guarding the way for us. Blocking access to the same point, if you remember. I like to have Rufus just sort of leaves his dead father just lying there with the sword in his back. Anyway, I think we'll save the game, and oh, I said we'd finish the Shinra building today, and we have spent about half an hour on this episode, so I do need to call it quits. We have practically finished it. We are in the process of leaving now, so we'll do that next time. But until then, thank you very much for joining me. I've been Fuzzfinger, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.